One thing I'm gonna have to remember is Better that my... check your Richter scale. I'm gonna break down the house. What am I doing? I don't need that menu. I need these. Yep. Go. Go, please. Thank you. Is it complete? Completed. Very nice. Thank you. Let's put some Omegas on. Now this is going to be the interesting part. Omegas for Juggernaut. Because there's a lot of options you could do with the movement build. But I'm just going to do what I typically do. Which is likely not the best. But it's like it's where I like to spend my stuff and those vulnerability applications then going back and saying give me legion um nope need that all right uh this move 20 point I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow all their houses down! Hmm... This move? 20 point. Finally, a this new move? Twist on 20 mayhem. point. Wanna see a new party trick? This move? I'm gonna paint the town Boom. really red with this! I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow all their houses down! There's damage rating on that. Damage Finally, and crit. A new twist on mayhem! Gotta have that. See? Practice makes perfect. I'm gonna run them all down with this. Gotta had that. Wanna see a new party trick? It's like... Oh, wow. 600 damage rating. A whole bunch of tenacity. Giving me even more crit rating from Can't Be Stopped. Yes, please. Now I'm wondering about this bleed from Big Headbutt. If it's going to work into my build or not. Here, I need you go on the ground. You go on the ground. You go on the ground. You on the ground too. And I don't want that either. Get out of here. I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow all their houses down! This has a passive effect for toughness. Gotta have it. At least the I'm one point. I'm gonna paint the town really red with this! I don't like taunts. I think I may go here. I took that there and said, you go there. Charging around and then... But if I... That... What? What? How do you... Oh, okay, Macron. I was like... Where did that even come from? Hmm. I'm 
probably only going to be using this to get my momentum back. Probably. So I think having this might be better. Give me that extra damage rating crit hit. Crit damage. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Not really, Iceman, because... It, <sighs> okay. Juggernaut is pretty much always a basicless build. It's... He does have basics, but he doesn't need them, because I'm at zero momentum right now. This is a skill that is not a basic. This is a skill that is not a basic. You don't need Spirit to cast his stuff. So every build for Juggernaut is sort of a basicless build. Um, but I have put 20 points into a basic here because it's going to give me... Let's just round this up to 200 because with gear it's at, it's at least that. Um, it's going to give me 600 damage rating for keeping that buff up. So, you know, I I I would not do a a, a quote unquote basicless build on him. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking this might. This is the core right here. It's pretty solid. I think after this, I'd want this. And I've got 10 points to throw into, I guess, I guess here, Crimson Force Field. Or, I could throw, yeah, yeah, Max's defense, especially if I'm doing a Cosmic build. And then the rest would go in here, and with story points, I'd be able to max it out. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't have, like, any skills that actually go on my bar. <laughs> okay, I got a taunt. I have a taunt on my bar. This is gross. This is gross. All right, looks good. Let's get in some gear. How long the servers are gonna be down for? They're usually only down for about an hour. Hopefully. Uh, how about cakes? Cakes? Cakes. Hey, what's up, Starnish? How you doing, man? Looks good. Finders keepers, losers weepers. It's been an hour and a half. All right. So maybe maybe another hour. Uh, maybe another 30 minutes. Alright, let's put that on. And... That is Juggernaut's... 
Is that all I got? That there is Juggernaut. There is a Juggernaut. I'm missing his weapons. Really? I popped all that and I'm missing his weapons? Well, I got some backup plans. Let me give him a... He's getting... He is most definitely getting the pet that I've set up for Nova before. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Yes! It's perfect! It's got that maximum minimum on it and everything. Mm. Melee powers, ranks and movement powers, three fighting. Oh. I need somebody to do the uh the the Tim the Toolman Taylor thing. The oh, oh, oh you know, I that that more power thing. I need somebody to do that. Come on, do it. Okay, so I don't have a weapon for him. And uh I don't care about these. Go away. No one likes you. You're stupid. I'll look at those in a minute. Stupid. I don't want runes. This day runes on the ground. Let me go, uh, let me go give him a rune word. What kind of rune word should I do? I think I might do River of Soul to start with. I don't know that it's going to be the, uh, the end-all be-all, but I know it's definitely going to be good. <laughs> you know it's close when the patch actually downloads which it hasn't yeah pucks has a point there if the patch has not even downloaded um into or downloaded on steam then we're nowhere close put into the fray on your bar no i'm good it's right there i don't need it on my bar i have it at my disposal And here, I don't need a taunt. I don't, I don't need this on my bar either. Here we go. I'm going to just fill this up with... There. There. I've, I've filled up my bar. It's good. It's all, it's all good. Wait, doesn't this need a spot? Yeah, this needs a spot. Um, we have that one. And that one. Here we go. Here we go. Sion of Sidorak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Checks out. Enchanter, give me things that I need. Give me a, give me an 800. Don't I not have one? Son of a bitch. Oh, there's one. Good. Good, very good. There's my runes. Electra medallion? Maybe? Pull out a dupe. Have a, uh... Nah. Move speed, dodge, deal physical damage when you dodge. Recover momentum when you hit with a movement power. 200 damage rating. Movement powers, try that. I 
I have an Edge of Infinity in my stash? I didn't know I had one of those. Where? Dude, those things are like... Rare. Where do I have an Edge of Infinity? I don't see it. I don't know, man. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Cable has it. Yeah, Cable has an Edge of Infinity in his in his stash. So rare as fuck, dude. Well, they are so crap these days. Isn't there an advanced version? Uh, no, they haven't made one yet. Not not yet. Advanced Edge of Infinity. Rhino Medallion? Oh, yes! Rhino Medallion! Now, there's an idea. I don't think I've got one. I can do this. Like, what would that do exactly? The minus cost for momentum powers. How would it play with Big Elbow Drop? Would it just not do anything? Would it be completely irrelevant for Big Elbow Drop? Probably. Yeah, I've got an Electro Medallion. I'm going to try it out. Alright. So it's either... Right now, of the ones I've got... You know, Rhino Medallion would be pretty solid. But of the ones I've got right now, it's... Uh... Oh, hey, cool. Okay, just put that on. There we go. What are these? There's a Hulk? Oh, Hulk has maximum momentum on it. That's probably what I want, is something that has increased momentum. What has the highest... Oh my god. Grim... Reaper! My brain just exploded with the possibility of Grim Reaper on this character. But something with an increase to maximum momentum is probably what you want. I think Doom has an increase to maximum momentum. And it would have increased uh, power duration, which would be good for both your invulnerability, but more so your Scion here. Increase the power duration of this. And the power duration, maybe, of Unstoppable Charge. That would be cool. Alright, let's put, um... Let's try Electra. Wait a minute, he needs to be bigger. He need to be bigger. And I haven't even looked at artifacts yet. I don't know what I'm putting on him. I do know he needs to be bigger, and he definitely needs one of these. I don't really need the help. That one. Experience brains always outmatch brawn, but we have incredible powers too. I was thinking about one of these, these Mark of the Odinborns. That would be ridiculous on him. With a max momentum build, right? But I kind of want something that does more damage. You know what? I'm just going to use one of these to make him bigger. 
Sounds good to me. I could do a, uh, a Kung Fu. I could teach him, whoa, I know Kung Fu. I think I might do that. Whoa, I know Kung Fu. Fear some fist? Nah, nah. Uh, yes, I have been spending. He doesn't have the, the dodge land. rating that you ask? need for fearsome, fearsome fist. No, I want visual. Add visual. Here you go. Now I'm bigger. Look. I don't fit in the screen anymore. Haha. -ha. Would you like to see something I just invented? Oh right, that was even without the costume on. So now we put the costume on, and now I really don't fit. I have no head. I am the headless juggernaut. <laughs> What are Jug's synergies? Uh, movement, power, damage, and reduction in spirit cost for movement powers. Now, 5% damage to movement powers. Damn, that's solid. And, uh, and then 5% spirit cost reduction for movement powers. Alright, let's see. Physical damage. Well, let's turn on the normal ones. Cable, Wolverine, Moon Knight, and Thor has increased melee damage. Four percent damage. Yes, please. I think I might do Rogue. S Spirit on hit, aka Momentum on hit. Fantastic, Hawkeye. That crit damage. And now I've got two more. So... I'm looking at Colossus, maybe, and... And maybe, maybe thing. I don't really like his conditional based damage. You know, maybe, maybe I'd go Loki, but my 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 skills don't like really cost. I don't think spirit cost reduction affects him in any way. Because this is always going to be 50%, my maximum minimum. And spending less spirit would actually reduce the damage that it does, right? I don't know. Do Black Panther up here. 2% damage. Yeah. And some move speed. That'll be nice. Why why am I singing that song? I don't even know. Alright, let's get rid of this. Go away thing that I don't care about. I am very big. Very big right now. Server's still offline? Server's still offline. <laughs> Luke Cage Did I turn did I did I do Luke Cage? I think I did, right? No, I didn't. And Luke Cage would be better than... Uh, Luke Cage is pretty much the same as Colossus. Let me do Luke Cage. Defense, physical damage. Thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. 
And actually, I could probably turn Rogue off. I don't know if I need this momentum on hit. Well, I'm going to stack it as much as I can. Stack as much momentum on hit as I can. See how it works. How soon to the server goes live? No clue, man. We are in uncharted territory at this point. Nobody knows. Alright, um... What is this? No, I don't want that. This is... Do I want Subterranea, or do I just want to do Asgard, or do I want to do... Um... Atlantis? You know, really my defense is... Really high. So I may just want to go Atlantis. Max the damage. I don't think I'm going to have a defense problem. 22% move speed. <laughs> I guess I could do that too. <laughs> or Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. This is funny. Alright, come here, Iron Man. Gimme dat. Gimme dat. Yes, I have been spending a lot of time in the lab. Why do you ask? It's TC Yolo Moose Feet. No, it's TC Yolo Spirit. Where's my unbind stack of relics? All right, what am I up to? <laughs> 1174. That's just funny. I don't have a weapon. I need a weapon. And maybe some uh, some costume affixes and a... What insignia should I use? I tell you what I really need. Oh, I don't have any of the boxes. Well, I need I need these anyway. Uh no, I don't care about Phoenix. Melee powers crit damage. It's really nice. I don't care about it being Mockingbird, though. That kind of... I don't, I don't really give a shit about attack speed. Wait a minute. He... He really doesn't care about attack speed with this build. None of his skills are affected in... in unless, unless Lariat is in some way. But none of his skills are affected by attack speed that I'm using right now. Earthquake would be, but I don't... It's just there so that I've got something on my left click. And I haven't looked at his uniques, so I don't know if I need to replace them with any any hero uniques. Can't do Avengers. It's got to be X-Men, Thunderbolts... Got dodge rating. I don't care about dodge rating. Do you have some? Oh yes. If I've got that one on live, that's probably the answer. Peter Rasputin. Hell fucking yeah. Up. Oh. You and your allies restore momentum per second. That 
might be the answer. That might be the answer. Momentum per second. Here, let me just put this on. Oh, it doesn't quite beat my degen. It's not quite enough. Cause I've got some I've got some spirit recovery going here too. But I can't stand still. Not quite. It does change the the speed of it though. It like doubles it. But if I didn't have DGen going then oh, I can't use that move. Way rather be with you than against you, Jugs. You're too dang hard to put down on your own. Hey, that was my power. Give it back. You can't have it. I did not give you permission. No, I'm just gonna. You know what? There. No one can see you. Yeah. No one sees Rogue. There. Nope. Foot still seen. There. No one sees Rogue. There. I've blocked you. How does he feel? Oh, no, go away, Rogue. Um, very tall. <laughs> uh, he's, he's really fun to play, man. I've been having a lot of fun this morning playing him. And I can't wait till he goes live. Avengers, no, I want... Let's check out these Thunderbolts and Sigs. That's got a lot of move speed on it. That might be fun. I don't care about that. I don't want it if it's blue. Flickster, thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the show, man. Could I see his powers? Um, I'm about to go out and and do that. Like his, uh, about to try a cosmic with him here once I get him geared out. And that's what I'm working on right now. But there is a video down below if you just want to skim through it real quick and check out his powers and what each of them do. <laughs> I'm working on getting him into this cosmic, though. Atuo! Thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the show, man. Alright, I'm going to just give him... The Peter Rasputin, I think. Yeah. All right, let's go in here and try and get a weapon. Do Cosmic Juggernaut. <laughs> that would be funny. I'll, I will start with that. I, I will start with Cosmic Juggernaut. Just... I will start with Cosmic Juggernaut so that we can claim Cosmic Justice. Or something like that. I gotta turn this stuffs on. I don't need you. I don't need you. You go there, you go there. Click, please. Thank you. Okay, there. Yes. It's good. It's good. Gotta keep track of all these shiny things. Give me my weapon, please. Thank you. There's my weapon. Hammer of Kuru. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop another one. Wait, maybe I need a core for him. Melee powers, invisible, life on hit. Would have been cool if that had been melee powers, invulnerable on medkit, life on hit. Or, even better than life on hit, health and spirit on medkit. With invulnerability on medkit. That'd have been pretty good. I'm gonna keep that... Probably turn that one on and uh, Iceman area. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Let's go give him some costume affixes.
You can get a lot done when you're not worrying about fighting supervillains. Is it just these? Is that all it takes? Oh, that's nice. That makes him real easy. Just everybody be picking up uh, pure ionic particles when you see them. That's all you're going to need for doing his, his affixes. Call of Duty hi- what the fuck? Who let you in? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Call of Duty. You're funny. Also, you said duty. Damage effects or crit damage? I'm probably gonna go crit damage. Oh, you know what? You, no, that would be stupid. That would be stupid. You wouldn't want to do that. You would not want to go tenacity, right? No, that would be stupid. Because you'd only get you'd get crit rating of gold to 75. No, 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 no. You want crit damage. I have a few new toys. That would be to stupid. Out. Alright. Come on, it fixes. What'd I get? What'd I get? Crit hit rating. No thanks. I should have plenty of that, hopefully. How much crit rating does it? Hey, nice. Crit damage. Second roll. Uh, let me look. Uh, I got, you know, pretty much everything equipped. Let's see how his crit rating is. Crit rating is 27%. Um, now, this is, of course, without can't be stopped popped, which is going to give you an extra 900. Uh, every And that, that applies when you use a power. Oh, okay, hold on. I can do this. So 27% or 2,000, yeah, 30, ah, uh, dude, you're good. You're golden. You're golden on crit. You're at 38.7. That's close enough to 40 that all you want to do, you don't need any crit rating on your costume. You get better crit rating rolls on the, uh, on the items here, then you probably got a little bit more. I don't have any crit on my ring. Of course, te you, you're going to want a midtown ring. You're definitely 100% going to want a Midtown Ring here, if you can get one. Looks like I have a little bit of extra crit rating coming from my Insignia that not everyone's going to have. But other than that, it's all the Uniques, and my artifacts don't even have crit rating on them. Oh, there's uh, 500 crit rating from the Macron too. Other than that, though, it's all the Uniques. So the Macron is a choice that might everyone might not use. Put on costume. Uh, I will when I'm done rolling it. Yes, I have been spending a lot of time. Still on rolling it right now. Why do you ask? Watch me roll these and get like amazing freaking rolls, and then when we go over to live, my rolls just suck. All day long. It will make me sad. Crit hit rating, no thanks. Nope, don't want that one either. Why 
What if you did... No. That... You can roll spirit on your costume, can't you? What if you... What if you rolled... Maximum momentum on your costume? There's no... No, crit damage would be better. Crit damage has to scale better, right? So, I, I just kind of skimmed... Your message earlier. You were at Walmart and some dude pulled his pants down. Bent over. Why? What? I... I don't... People are weird. Will you test Juggernaut's uniques with any hero uniques to see what best in slot like Yes, yeah, I'll give that a look. <laughs> Can't roll spirit on costume. Alright then, never mind then. You definitely want crit damage obviously then okay I don't really care about the others I so don't even not gonna sit here and roll costume affixes all day let's go uh... you think he's ready he's ready there was something I was gonna test I was gonna look at his lot of progress lately. items his personal items versus items like Mort spring shoes there's a pair of them right there First off, I don't think the cost reduction for movement powers matters at all. But, I know one way to find out. It's going to be pretty easy to test so do my regular thing blah 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 let's get up to max momentum here there we go all right what I hit for oh okay 1.5 mil no big deal all right 1.7 all right throw both of these on it's about the same so yeah no it it definitely doesn't affect that oh. the cost reduction which is you know between these two is not gonna affect the damage of big elbow drop in much of any way. Um, let's see about maybe maybe earthquake would be affected. Let's only do the earthquake at max momentum and see how it works. All right, two hundred. Two hundred sixty and forty six. Hmm. Okay, now let's pull both of those off. And what are we looking at? We're looking at much higher numbers, and that's without the cost reduction. So cost reduction actually seems to decrease your damage on skills like Earthquake that 50% of your maximum minimum. I, I don't think it affects your, your skills in any way, really. 
the cost reduction. I don't know, man. Server thing blinked out. It'll it'll refresh here in a second. Let me um first off close that. That's the definition of invulnerable. And uh it'll it'll refresh here in just a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it myself. Oh it's not it's not refreshing. It is refreshing, but it's not refreshing. I do this. If I start another tab with it. It's not loading that. Either way, it's still down. Yeah, it's still down and it'll it'll either work itself out and, and refresh or whatever. Downloading patch. Nice. Oh, we got patch notes. I gotta set them up on Place Nightbot. Yes. Let me uh library. Oh, no patch yet. So I'm probably gonna have to restart Steam. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart Steam. Stop that. Where's Steam? Oh, there it is. Let me try... It's not one to load. All right, let me close that. And I guess I'll close that too, All right? And I'm gonna just restart Chrome. And hopefully that will fix it. No, nope, doesn't want to load. See? This is the Marvel Hero server status page. It doesn't want to load that. Son of a bitch. How will we know? How will we know when the servers are up? Alright, well, I know how we'll know. Because it'll switch to... From red to green. So I'll just leave it up there. And uh, when it's not red anymore, then they're online. Probably because their site messed up. Probably. I was supposed to be starting Steam. Steam! Why are you not starting? There it goes. It's good. Okay. Uh, and now I'm also taking the patch notes. Come here, patch notes. Yep, copied. Take them to Nightbot. Yay! We have patch notes. I can go back over here to chat and MHPN. Dun dun dun! The latest patch notes. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I'm setting a lot, up a lot of stuff in the background, guys. Bear with me. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's have a look at the patch notes. Why don't we? Alright, so, uh, new hero Juggernaut, awesome. New team up Havoc, cool. Halloween plus Omega event, awesome. Um, I want to, I want somewhere in here for it to say that shared quests will also, you, you will still receive guaranteed trick-or-treat power-ups from the first completed shared quest of the day, as well as the first time you defeat Manape Mr. Hyde that day. Okay, awesome. Awesome, guaranteed trick-or-treat buffs. Uh, and you get the drops. The Omega Shield access files. 10 for logging in each day, 30 for Coulson's training mission, and 60 Omega access files for completing shared quests each day, 20 each. Uh, hardware mouse features in, I'm gonna turn this on. I don't know how much it's going to affect my gameplay, but when we get in, I'm going to turn it on. Um, loot and mission rollover times. Loot and mission rollover times. The following rollover times have been adjusted to be one hour later to honor the upcoming daylight savings time in North America. Raid loot cooldowns and shared quests and their daily bonus. Gotcha. Okay. So that's... There's still once per day. Whatevs. Um, bug fixes, Star Lord Strafe will now correctly trigger on hit proc effects. Cyclops's Ice Man call in will now tr correctly trigger on hits. Gambit's House of Cards on a delay with using power duration. Wait, House of Cards? Oh, that's his, um,. His AoE bomb thing, right? Let me check my downloads. Yep, Marvel Heroes. Nice. Uh, Rage and Cajun cooldown reduction now works correctly. Fix an issue where Wolverine's Bone Claws plus 2 to all skills was not correctly upgrading from 66 to 69. Jean Grey's Phoenix Draw Drain Power, Phoenix Drain Dark Phoenix version. Now correctly damages raid boss instead of being resisted. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a big thing. Fix an issue where students' health in higher level X defense could outscale attacker damage. So higher level X defenses just got harder. Is what I'm seeing. Fix an issue where students' health in higher level X, X defense could outscale no effect on players or enemies. Wait, this is the same. This is the same line. Just with an extra little effect here. Or extra little no effect on players or enemies. I just just remove this. This doesn't need to be here. Cyclops visor off will now correctly receive one percent damage bonus for each rank in To Me, my X-Men! Uh <laughs> Continue to optimize performance in various areas of the game for increased responsiveness. Awesome! Yay! Increased responsiveness! Optimization! Known issues. Juggernaut's momentum resource does not have custom art. This art is being reconfigured to avoid a somewhat frequent UI crash found in the test center. This, right here, this is the reason for Juggernaut's one day delay. It's the art. <laughs> The UI art is what caused the crash. Oh man, that's just funny to me. Juggernaut's end of the fray displays that it should always prevent momentum decay, but it is instead only preventing it below 30% momentum. 
In general, there are some issues with the current implementation of momentum decay prevention that may be changed in next week's patch. So, gotcha. I honestly, momentum decay. Like, I I think it should always prevent momentum decay, or at least something should. Some skill that you're using. That, or that you would use regularly. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know if it should be enter the fray. Like I, it's been on a number of tacks. First, it was on rope a dope. Then it was on big headbutt, and then and now it's on enter the fray. It seems like they can't figure out where they want this momentum decay uh, thing to go. You know, this momentum decay prevent or whatever momentum decay prevention mechanic they don't know where they want to put it we're investigating an issue where after defeating curse in cosmic terminal his cosmic orbs would remain and continue to do damage and turn invisible be wary of collecting loot for the next few days <laughs> that's right be wary when collecting loot you want that item good luck <laughs> There's a UI issue causing X defense chests off screen pointers to remain on screen after being opened. It should only result in two extra points at a time. Well, it's it's X. Okay, so it's any chest. It's not just the I I got you. It's not just the end chest. When a player picks up a unique item, it will display a broken text string in chat. This will be fixed in next week's patch. So you can't see what items you get in chat right now. You notice any additional bugs? Blah, blah, blah. Yep, gotcha. Alright, that's cool. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. Play now. Play now, please. Why you not play now? You want to go do a cosmic? Shall we go do a cosmic? I don't need you. I don't need you. What exactly do his uniques do? I haven't looked at them yet. Melee powers. Crit hit. Rating and damage. Damage to bosses. Thorns, chance to hit with a melee power, stun target. Okay. Gain defense and tenacity when you hit physicals. Physical powerhouse and Sunday punch. Is there a? I mean, this is good for what I'm doing, but is there? Is there one with plus ranks to big elbow drop instead of? Oh, that's on this one. Okay. Damage rating below thirty percent become invulnerable. That's and he's got automatic invulnerability here. And I've got a crimson crystal. This is stupid, dude. This guy's invulnerability mechanics are makes sense. He's a fucking juggernaut. He's invulnerable. Avatar Sidorak. And a visual size increase. This, just right here, the Crimson Armor of Sidorak has a visual size increase. Could I take off my costume and remain the same size? I don't think so. What about my... Nope, I shrink. I take that off. So that means I got one, two, three going on. What if I put the point in? I think three is the max you can have in terms of visual size increase, right? Download so slow! I don't know. I don't know. My download's at 50%, 70, 60%, something like that. My download's doing okay. Benefits of living in Gig City, baby! 
When you hit with a mystical powerhouse, gain melee damage rating. When you hit with an unstoppable power, gain defense rating. I'm using both, right? Enter the fray is mystical powerhouse. Lariat is mystical powerhouse. Unstoppable. It's my drop, my charge, my... It's mostly just my drop, though. Okay. If both of these effects are active, your powers cost 4% less. I don't really care about cost reduction. See, I don't think it does anything for me. I mean, it's on one of his uniques, so cost reduction has to have some kind of benefit, right? But reducing the cost, you know, spending less momentum, unless these mechanics have been coded to take, you know, to use that some benefit, spending less momentum would mean less damage. I don't know. I don't know. Damage to movement powers. This one's nice. I like this one. You know, if you weren't doing a movement build on this, these boots would definitely be something you'd have to... You'd have to find another option for if you weren't doing a movement build. Because they're all about the movement build. And I haven't seen anything yet that is not useful to the movement build, you know? I mean, this gives a bunch of ranks to Sunday Punch, but it's still useful to the movement build. Health, crit rating, crit damage. I like this. Less damage from mental powers, because helmet's strong. When you use a movement power, gain damage rating, stacks three times. That's nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. When you reach three stacks, you gain tons of physical damage rating. All right. Let's go. We said we were going to start with Cosmic Juggernaut, right? Let's do this.